Why do Conrad Health Agency celebrate Women's History Month? We celebrate the countless women who have fought tirelessly and courageously for the equal justice and opportunity in our nation for all Americans. We also affirm our commitment to advancing rights and opportunity for women and girls in the United States. We want equal rights for everyone, no matter what the cost. Viola Favaluzzo, born April 11, 1925, and died March 25, 1965, was America's civil rights activist. In March 1965, Luzzo heeded the call of Martin Luther King Jr. and traveled from Detroit, Michigan to Selma, Alabama in the wake of a bloody Sunday attempt at marching across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Father Greg Luzzo traveled to Alabama in March 1965 to help the Southern Christian Leadership Conference led by Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. With an effort to register African-American voters in Selma, not long after the arrival, Lizzo was murdered by the members of the Ku Klux Klan while driving a black man from Montgomery to Selma. She was only known white female killed during the civil rights movement. On March 21st, 1965, more than 3,000 marches led by King began their trek from Selma to Montgomery to campaign for voting rights for African-Americans. In the South, unlike the previous attempt, the activists on this march were protected by outside interference by U.S. Army and National Guard troops. In addition to participating in the march, Lizzo helped by driving supporters between Selma and Montgomery. The group reached it Montgomery on March 25, 1965, and King gave a speech on the steps of the state capitol building to a crowd of approximately 25,000 people. That night, Lizzo was driving another civil rights worker with the SCLC, an African-American teenager named Leroy Moulton, back to Selma on Highway 80. When another car pulled alongside her vehicle, one of the passengers in the neighboring car sh shot at Lizzo, striking her in the face and killing her. The car ended up in a ditch and Moulton passed out but survived. Not long after her death, however, came a campaign to tarnish her reputation driven by J. Edgar Hoover, director of the FBI. The sordid false stories were leaked it, that she was involved with Moulton and that she was a bad wife and mother. Despite the efforts to discredit Lizzo, her murder led to Johnson to order investigation into the Ku Klux Klan. It also believed that her death helped encourage legislators to pass the Voting Rights Acts of 1965 the Lizzo story has been a subject of several books, including the Mary Stanton, From Selma to Sorrow, The Life and Death of Viola Lizzo, 1998. www.camaraderiehealthagency.com Catch our Woman History series on YouTube and Facebook.